Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, last episode we took out our new-ish A-team and uh, we had okay success. We got a lot of stress damage coming our way, but uh, we got pretty much everyone we can afford to into some stress management. Uh, Benjamin's still sitting good at uh, the top of the list here at level 3, just waiting for people to catch up to him essentially. Uh, so I think we, we kind of go for it here with our new party uh, named the Killers apparently. Uh, so we have a Hellion, a uh, another Highwayman, we have a Bounty Hunter, and then an Occultist in the back here. Uh, and I think what we're going to do here is potentially go on a short mission. I think that's probably going to be the better option. Well, this medium mission might be okay. This is more gold, more deeds. Um, do we have enough money to really go on it is another question altogether. Uh, so I think we stick... As much as I'd like to do a medium mission, I think we go for the short mission. Explore 90% of rooms. Let's go and provide for our people here. We don't have any bonus uh, things for us. So I think we're just going to bring one stack of food. Um, probably going to bring like 12 torches, I think is probably going to be enough. Uh, we want to have at least one shovel. Uh, probably a couple of the anti-venoms and then potentially a skeleton key as well. Uh, usually ends up paying for itself. Uh, I think we embark here. So the concept behind this party is we have uh, a lot of really good uh, heavy hitters that can hit the back row. So we're kind of shaping a party here. Once. Oh now gosh, okay so my own uh, I think we just kind of focus on uh, potentially just go to this room here. Uh, so really we're just trying to build a party. Uh, the wise and tag is going to be uh, right off the bat as a trap. 15 stress damage, perfect. That's what you want to see. Uh, these guys we can use the anti-venom for. And that absolutely paid off. That paid for itself. Times. Times over. Uh, no scouting opportunity. Let's just hit this room here. We get a free torch out of it, which never, uh, never a bad thing really. We have to do a little bit of backtracking. Uh, we can not really get that in any any responsible way, so I think we're gonna pass on that. No surprise, which is unfortunate. We do a pistol shot, tracking shot, duelist advance that we could use to do a little bit of damage here. How much damage? Three to five, four to eight in the back. Pistol shot's gonna do four to eight. Seventy-three percent chance to hit, fifteen percent chance to crit. I think pistol shots are a better option here. Let's go ahead and hit the uh, Acolyte because they are going to give us some stress damage. Right off the bat on our bounty hunter, apparently. So our bounty hunter is already at 50 stress. Eldritch push is not what we wanted out of that, in all honesty. Uh, here we go. So we can mark a target. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and mark... Uh... Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and mark this guy right here. Adrenaline Rush isn't really helpful for us. Let's just go ahead and do a move here, try to get him back into position. Collect Bounty, Flashbang, Hook, and Slice. Uh, collect Bounty can hit the first two targets, so we kind of uh, did the right thing there. Uh, let's take a shot here. 10 damage for a level 0. I'm okay with that. Broken Swipe is going to be dodged. Potentially twice? Probably not. 4 damage, it's really not that bad, honestly. The stress is what's going to get us out of everything here. We can mark another target here. Uh, can't use Hands from the Abyss, can't use Sacrificial Stab, so we may as well uh, go ahead and just mark another target up front here for ourselves. Here we go, so we have Barbaric Yop, we could hack. Uh, what are these guys' stun? Is this 25? I think we, we take the opportunity to try to get a double stun there for sure. Eldritch Pull is going to get resisted. And from here, I think we uh, just kind of focus on taking some 21 damage of the crit. Good lord, he just snorts at it apparently. I don't know. Point Blank Shot is going to push us back one. I think we go for that. Six damage. Stun gets worn off there. Stressful Incantation is going to give us some stress damage. 18 of it, in fact. And 22. For, oh my god. 
Uh, I think we, uh, we gotta take one of these guys down. I really wish that would've hit for more. 12 damage up front. And now I'm really, really wishing we could, uh, we could do something as opposed to just marking another target here. Potentially could, uh, give this guy some better skills, certainly. Barbaric Yop I don't think is worth it. I think, uh, the best opportunity here is a wicked hack and try to take down that guy. A little bit of stress reduction. Take a little bit of damage on our, uh, our, our new highwayman here. Really wish you would stop using that ability. But I'm, I'm gonna be perfectly honest here. I suppose we could go for a heal here, although I don't think it's really needed. Uh, one round for that, two rounds for that. Let's go ahead and just do a mark here just in case it wears off. I'm not sure if it will or not. Wicked Hack, really uh, really wishing I could get to the person in the back here, but uh, we may as well take a free kill if it's uh, presented to us. Pistol Shot, absolutely going to take that for 7 damage. And we can't collect a bounty there. Uh, hook and Slice can hit. This could also stun. It only has 25% chance stun resistance. I think we go for it. It's going to shuffle it up a little bit closer to us as well. And not only that, but also make it so we're not going to be taking too much damage from it either. Uh, I guess uh, you're not really in a good place to do anything, in all honesty, so I guess you just mark the target for one damage. And we should be able to collect a bounty here for 15. Unlock strong box. It's contents unknown. I don't think we use a skeleton key for this. Uh, I think we're going to use you and give you the blight and then immediately cure it. So that's our second room. Oh man, really? You are you can't be that famished, man. If you get blighted. Okay, at least you resisted it. I'm going to say it's probably not worth it to eat, uh, eat an infected carcass, but what do I know? Pop a torch, keep on moving here. We can skip this room here. Let's go ahead and take this. Uh, 100 gold. Could have been better. Oh, we got a little bit of combat. Did we get a surprise? We absolutely didn't. Uh, pistol shot, potentially our best uh, our best opportunity here. Probably gonna hit the Fusilier, but probably gonna get dodged as well. Blanket fire is gonna not do anything great for us. Uh, potentially just go for the damage, really. How much damage are you going to do? 714 and some bleed damage? I think we go for that, honestly. Uh, that's a lot of damage, to be perfectly honest. And then, uh, we're going to go for the mark as well, see if our bounty hunter can pick up a good kill. A little bit of stress reduction there. 13 damage is nothing to really complain about. That damage we could complain about, certainly. Point blank shot, 11 damage to our Hellion, but we did resist uh, everything after that. I think we go. This guy's pretty much dead at this point, right? Like we can all agree on that. Four to eight, five to ten on this guy. However, uh, I think we're gonna attack the Fusilier and back though. And I think here we just—that's uh, our. That's really our only option. So we gotta go for that. Uh, I think we gotta we gotta try this heal out on our for seven. It's not bad. Resist the bleed from it as well. That damage has gotta stop, man. That is uh, not not enjoying that. Hook and slice. We can do some damage here for some bleed. Uh, we can't collect bounty past that. We can do a stun, however. I want you to potentially get a little bit closer to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Harmless poke is indeed harmless. And then from here, this guy's pretty much toast as far as I'm concerned. I really wish that would have done more damage than three. Uh, six to 12, that's a really good opportunity for a kill for us. A little bit of stress reduction because of it as well. Vulnerability hex or a heal. I think we go for a heal potentially for nine, which is pretty great. Uh, realistically, it's only going to be a heal for six because of the bleed, uh, but we did not bring any bandages, so that's uh, that's pretty unfortunate. Flashbang, can we get an easy stun here? I think we probably can. 
That is the worst stun I've ever seen. Uh, vulnerability Hex is just going to mark a target. It's not going to do anything else for us, so why don't we go for another heal for 10. Well, what do we got here? Bleed out. We can't hit anything. Yeah, we're kind of stuck in terms of... Oh, it's a good crit. We get stress reduction for that. We do not. This is a little... Uh, Seems like we would, but hey. Five damage. Getting us closer. This should get us a kill. Alright, so we got Swift Cloak and we got a little bit of gold out of it. Um, still not doing as well as we really want to be. We just need to move. We just need to clear these other rooms out. I know you're bleeding, I'm very sorry about it. We don't have anything to reach in here, so we're not going to. Uh, trap is gonna potentially be really bad. That stress is coming for us. Our bounty hunter's having a really bad time, essentially is what I'm saying here. Uh, pop torch, continue on. We just got a couple more rooms. Hopefully we can uh, we can make it out. Left luggage, I think we can use a skeleton key on. Hey, I'll take it, man. That's that's not bad. Good course. It wasn't trapped, so. As far as I'm concerned, we, uh, we came out ahead there. Two to three damage is going to do a little bit. It's going to buff us a bit as well. Uh, is it worth it? Potentially. It could be just as efficient to try to get some damage onto these guys in the back. I think from here, we're going to go ahead and try to mark this target, however. I really like Bleed Out. I think it does a pretty good amount of damage for us here. Provided that the bleed hits, which it didn't. Slice and dice for damage each and potentially some few debuffs. Could have been worse. This could be really bad for us, and it was. That could be a death storm. Pushback and a lot of stress as well. Collect bounty. Now we, we pretty much have to at this point. 21 damage is huge for us. Uh, we gotta go for a heal here get you off a of death floor. Collect bounty again on you. We don't really have any really great opportunities here, so I think what we do is get pushed back and kill that corpse. Blanket fire is always annoying, but not so much when it misses everybody. Shank, <laughs> seven damage and a bleed. Are you kidding me? I think we just go for a double stun here. I know you're bleeding now. I'm, I've got you. I've got a heal coming for you. Ten. And resisted the own bleed as well. So you're doing fine now. Collect bounty I think is going to be our, uh, our best option here. We're going to do it on the target in the back because we can do more damage. Wicked hack. Nine crit. You'd think you'd crit for a little bit more than that, but uh, hey, what do I know? Tools advanced should get us a kill. A little bit of stress reduction, a lot of gold out of that, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, advance on to this next room here. We just have a couple more rooms. If we can make it, uh, if we can make it through these next rooms here without anybody dying, I'd be pretty happy about it. Uh, we still have ten food. Potentially we. Uh, Let's go ahead and use some of it here. That'll give us enough for one more hunger. Oh, don't you do it, man. Never good. Never good. What do you have? Rabies now? Oh, Lord. Well, I mean, if you're hungry, you're hungry. So, no combat in this room, which means this is going to be our last uh, room that we have to get into. Crate is empty. Thank God we brought another shovel here. Enter yourself. A victim to the spreading corruption. Pop a torch just in case. You gotta be kidding me with this. I and mean, we gotta do it. You're in a bad spot, and I understand. Resolve is tested, you're gonna have a bad time. There can be no hope in this. Gonna have a really bad time. No hope uh, what do you have here? Affliction hopeless. It's just one more room, bud. You can do it, I believe in you. Perfect. Return to Hamlet. Oh, man. 
Every time you think you bring enough shovels. <laughs> we're gonna get a little bit of refund for the stuff we did bring. Uh, should pull out a good amount of gold here. Could have been better in terms of rewards through and through. So you hate the Warrens, which is great. 50% bleed resist, I'll take it. Uh, better scouting chance in the ruins. Uh, more damage in the weld. Experiences, religious, visions, and delusion. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and return to town, see where we're at. We dug for months. A little bit of stress reduction up here that I saw. Uh, nothing crazy happened. We just got some good stress recovery from uh, two of our people we brought out last time. So it's going to open up a little bit more possibility for us for uh, bringing more people. Uh, everyone here leveled up to one, which is perfect and not very hard to do. You're having a really bad time. You need to go into some stress reduction immediately. Uh, I think you should you should pray. Pray it away, man. Good luck to you. Uh, I think we take Cecil, I think we put them, he will not go to the Abbey. I bet you he will go to the Tavern, though. Uh, we gotta put him in. Let's put him in so we can at least use him here pretty soon. And you need to go as well. We're in a pretty rough spot in terms of uh, opportunity here. <laughs> I think we... Uh, we got to take our Hellion into uh, some relief as well, but we're getting a little bit lower on our gold. I mean, go for it, man. Good luck to you, I, I suppose, here. Uh, can we get anybody some good upgrades? Uh, we can, actually. We can, we can look into here and, and see what we can and can't upgrade for our heroes. Uh, let's take a look at the stagecoach. Got another ton of occultists and another grave robber. Um, how's our occultist doing? Pretty terribly. Pretty terribly indeed. But he is level 1. What do you guys... <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about it. Uh, weakening curse. We don't need abyssal artillery. Would be really nice to have. Um, that's not bad. Okay, how about, how about you? You hate the runes, which is bad. I don't know. I think we just keep uh, keep who we have here already. We could potentially look at the grave robber. Like, what do you have? You're not a mind of the brothel. Prone to stealing items. I'm not in love with those. Uh, in time, we'll only meditate. I mean, this seems like way better to me personally. Uh, I think we take you dismissed. And we're gonna bring you aboard here. So I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy, hit that like button. It helps out so very, very much. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Until then, we'll see you next episode.